So outfit of the day, I've got my, um, this is a boat neck sweater, it's super warm. It's from the North Face, it, or North Face, whatever. It's thrifted, of course, from Poshmark. This vest is also a down vest from North Face. It was thrifted as well, got it off Facebook Marketplace. And then these slacks are Croft and Barrel, and then Barrel, whatever. And then these shoes are suede Dr. Soul, Dr. Scholl. So I'm just kind of casual today, sort of. Third coffee of the day to go. This is my little Appalachian <laughs> meter cup. I printed off pictures from my Appalachian road trip from 2009. I did this, I made this, I got this made 11, 12 years ago, anyway. And then I just printed them and put them in this plain tumbler. I love to post videos from my Appalachian road trip because I videotaped it all on this old video camera. And I haven't put it on YouTube yet. I really should I just do little little episodes. They're pretty terrible. Actually, they're not quite as bad as my current vlogging vlog mess. All right, sniffs. Yeah, I'm missing my planner. Oh, this is thrifted too. I got that off Facebook Marketplace. Missing my planner. Cannot find my planner. Oh, my mask. Yeah, my little turquoise dinosaur mask to match my outfit but yeah I can't find my planner anywhere and it's driving me crazy because I live through my planner. <laughs> Sniffs stop. Sniffs figured out how to open Ash's food bin this morning with her nose so I had to hide it away. All right guys be good today. Ash sit. Be good. I was trying to escape from my neighborhood. All the roads were blocked off by, um, they're finally picking up the leaf, the leaf pile. These things have been like laying there for months and people haven't cleaned it up because they're lazy. And so finally they're coming, you know, right during rush hour when people are trying to leave the neighborhood and go to work, you know, how dare they? But they're, so I tried to go down the street next to us because usually the street we're on is a little bit busy. And so I go to the next street while there's a huge truck that's blocking it that's blocking the um the street so i go to the next street and there's another truck and they're completely blocking off um and they're like they've got a vacuum hose oh now there's construction like what the f I, i'm never gonna get to work poor planning oh my gosh do this when they're when people aren't heading to work or coming home from work or kids aren't heading to school heading home from school etc like this is just stupidity just absolute stupidity so I, I, anyway, I, when I was leaving my street, I zipped out in this little opening. There's literally nowhere else for me to leave from our neighborhood. Like you, you guys are blocking every single street. Anyway, and this other lady be, behind me in a taxi cab was trying to leave as well. Actually, she wasn't a taxi cab. She picks up disabled children and they were blocking her from picking up the kids. Great job, Fairfax County. Just passed yet more construction where they took three lanes and cut them down to one lane because we have to do construction now. I mean, it's Christmas season too. They, they weren't doing this a few weeks ago. I've been driving for literally 50 minutes, five zero. It normally takes me 20 minutes to get to work. And I'm still 10 minutes away from work right now. So it's gonna take me an hour to get to work this morning. That is insane. It's just ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Like I hate this county. I hate it. Okay. I'm leaving work a little bit early today. I did stay late. I guess it was last week, an hour late. So I'm gonna leave about an hour early today. Wouldn't have been so late to work today if there hadn't been an hour's worth of construction and yard waste trucks and everything. Anyway, so how was my day today? Oh, it got even worse when I got to work. Actually, when I pulled into this parking spot, I have to back in between two cars, which is fine. I can do that. I don't have a backup cam, but I just, I follow the lines in my rearview mirrors, whatever. Anyway, the guy that parks next to me is in his jammies, um, taking stuff out of his car or whatever. And like, I kind of pulled up close to indicate, not too close, of course, like it was 10, 15 feet away, to indicate that I'm, you know, need to pull in to the spot. And he looks at me like, huh? And then like, I'm like, weird. So I like inch closer, you know, inch closer. And he finally gets a hit and then he goes in front of his car and um, I just backed in. I was like, dude, I don't care if you're standing in front of your car. I'm gonna back in, I'm not gonna hit you, but oh, great, here's a stroller. Are we crossing? What are we doing? Okay. Oh my gosh. 
much. Okay, so let me tell you about this. There's a woman in a stroller, pushing a stroller, talking on her cell phone. Did not look before she crossed the street, which we're in a um, parking lot, but there's a, there's a street. And doesn't even look. The baby, who's like two, look about, looks like, um, peers her neck out and looks at me like, I'll check for you, Mom. Meanwhile, you're on the phone chit-chatting, and we're about to get hit by a car, but, you know. Anyway, I just, I hate people today. Yeah, so I got to work, and my 401k situation has still not been resolved, along with a third of our workforce. So, I was like, you know, what am I supposed to do now? Because uh, nobody knows what's going on, everybody's like, yeah, it'll be fixed. It's been eight months. It's been since April. I'm missing $10,000 and counting. Um, I would like, I would like to not contribute any more money to my 401k until this is fixed. My husband doesn't want to do that because it'll mess up our taxes, which our taxes are already going to be messed up because the contributions have not been going 401k. So uh, that's going to be a mess in January or, um, yeah, in January when we file our taxes. I emailed, you cannot, do not turn into me. Um, so I emailed a tax attorney who, you know, if nothing else, he can maybe point me in the right direction. Um, so it's like, what do I do? You know, this hasn't been, the funds have not been recovered yet. And I tried to reach out to my congressman and he doesn't have an email address to contact him at. He just has like one of those little portals that you put in your information and it kept rejecting it. It was like, please check spelling and punctuation. And I'm, I'm a stickler for spelling and punctuation. However, I'm not serving the people here. Like, shouldn't you be helped regardless of your spelling and punctuation? And I took out, it was talking about special characters. It didn't like the special characters because I had stuff in parentheses. I had dollar signs for all my missing money. And so I took that out. Still one, it kept rejecting. It re rejected it six times. And so finally I just gave up. And I want to um, tweet him and be like, yo, uh, your portal isn't working. Not that he cares. My husband actually reached out to him earlier this year, I think it was, about something, just an issue in our community, and he never responded. So uh, clearly he needs to get fired next election because he's not helping the people. I've actually heard from uh, people on Nextdoor, which is a, an app, a neighborhood app. People have said that he's not very helpful. So uh, why does he keep getting elected then? You know, get fired. I was checking on my vaccination verification which I submitted a month ago, something like that, well over a month ago. And it kept getting rejected because this stupid lady who is tr verifying it. So first of all, this woman, okay, so she's trying to verify it and she says it looks like a one and it's supposed to be a seven for my the date of my first dose. Anyway, she keeps insisting that I should change it and I'm like, no, this is not when I got vaccinated. And I'm not gonna lie on an official form to appease you here. Anyway, so, and then I, I looked her up in our email, because I was trying to email her, because there was no, get off the line. There was no way to um, reply back to the message in the forum. And uh, like, and of course her, speaking of speller, spelling and grammar and punctuation, like it was way off. It was so badly, it was like, we don't, we don't got no help for that or something like that, the response. I looked her up and she has herself listed as a data scientist. You know what she actually does? She's a secretary. Nothing wrong with being a secretary, but you should probably not lie. And then her cohort was saying she's an analyst. Just because you handle paperwork does not make you an analyst. There's nothing wrong with being a secretary, but you should say, hey, I'm a secretary. I'm an executive assistant, not I'm a data scientist because you're actually not. So I emailed HR and I was like, look, this hasn't been dealt with. I also emailed HR about my 10,000 missing dollars. Nothing's been done about that. But anyway, we emailed our HR lady because I was like, oh, that's right. Like she helped me with onboarding and all this stuff. She said, what you need to do is reorder your vaccination card from the state, from their Department of Health. And so I had to register with them and then they, yeah. And anyway, apparently you can get anybody's stuff. You just put in, if you know their date of birth, the zip code of where they live, first and last name, you can get their vaccination card, which is, um, seems like that would be, or should be an issue, privacy issue, but yeah. 
what do I know? So I've got to reorder it because this, it's, the issue is the scanned copy looks terrible. It makes the seven look like a one or something. I had half a mind to just change it to like a seven with like one of those little tails and stuff, but then that would really be altering the paperwork and I don't want to get in trouble. So anyway, I'm driving home. It's still daylight, so that's the best part of today. I think I'm gonna go get my nails done, maybe. I really badly need to. I don't forget where's the camera, I can't tell. Okay, my nails are growing out, and oh, my my feet are so dry, and they're so, they're really bad. I did yoga with my coworker the other day, and I was like, ooh. I'm like taking my socks off and like examine my feet in a while, because I never do that. Yeah, I've really gotta do that tonight, and I'm gonna finish my grandma's mask that she asked me to make for her a while ago, a few days ago. Hopefully I don't get there by Christmas. I don't know. I got a piece of meals. Got my nails done. Got some little festive style that I saw on Pinterest. I was like, mm, I gotta do that. <laughs> I gotta get some wine.